Alright guys, uh, I'm out here and this is the uh, Bushnell um, Speedster 3 uh, K-Ban gun. It's about a $99 gun. Very good. And then next to it is a Stalker ATR police grade gun uh, which is running on KA band so I just wanted to demonstrate them side by side it's quite hard to hold them both with one hand and the camera in the other but just wanted to show somewhat the accuracy of the uh, bush now uh, of course the gun on the right is going to pick up things at a distance better it's got a better range it's it's you know it's a much it's you know it's a thousand dollar gun uh, but I'm trying to get them roughly in the same spot just to show you some of the speeds uh, that are, are coming across to, s to see how they compare uh, as you see this is a highway so I mean there's you know four or five six cars going at once and they even if they're slightly off there they can still be picking up you know completely different cars but as you can see the the, the speeds are fairly accurate the whole point with this is is I wish I had a better setup here. Uh, the, the whole point with this is just to kind of give you an idea of how one gun would operate, how a $99 gun would do speed wise compared to, uh, you know, a professional grade gun that, you know, the police uh, actually would use. This is K Band, K A Band. Uh, both perform great. Uh, but uh, believe it or not, they both have the same accuracy. Um, I know the targets look a little bit different there. The, the problem with this bush now here is it's the, the range is not as good as this gun, not even close. Uh, so it's, you know, it's picking up the odd target and it's having somewhat of a tough time there while this one is, uh, uh, you know, doing great. I'm just, you know, if I was a little bit closer, it would work better. If I had three hands, I said this would work better as well. <laughs> so, um, anyways, you see there, uh, it picked up the same vehicle there in the 40s. It did well. Um, there's the same target. Uh, but I've tested them, obviously without the uh, without holding a camera with them both in my hand, and and they and on the exact same vehicle, they will pick up the same speed pretty much identical um, they're both plus or minus one mile per hour um, in their air and that's how all guns are that are uh, all police guns that are used for actually tracking cars vehicle speed uh, but it, but um, obviously the Bushnell is more aimed for um, doing Baseball, you know, uh, pitching speed, softball uh, pitching speed, sports, stuff like that. Then the ATR here is obviously a uh, uh, you know, police grade, aimed more, f you know, for uh, cars and vehicles. But a gun like this, the uh, Bushnell is great. Uh, but it, uh, it does have a, a range limitation to 1,500 feet. So it's just over a quarter of a mile is the range. So I will put them down. And show them, show them independently for a moment. There's a car pulling out here behind me, just to show you the range. You see the Bushnell is having a tough time at a range like that. So if I come up here, something like that is fine. Obviously, that's going to be the wrong speed at 90 degrees. You can see where the Bushnell kind of ends in its range, which is 1,500 feet. So that's why it has a tough time out there. But, but it's a great gun. Um, the uh, Stalker ATR, you know, I can point it out that way and it's going to pick up just fine. Uh, pretty much as far as I can see uh, on the, you know, there's a car right there that just pulled out. As far as I can see, off axis, this is. Uh, that's another point of contention. If you aim your gun at 90 degrees, uh, these cars are going 60, 70 plus miles an hour. And you can see, you know, how inaccurate a gun would be pointed off axis at 90 degrees. So you have to be at, uh, you want to be as close to zero degrees as you can towards the track. 
towards the traffic this is about the limit I don't have a you know this is about probably 20 degrees uh, anything past 20 degrees on your angle is going to uh, start to reduce the accuracy of the gun and of course we want the most accuracy right there that car going right behind it that should be perfect once it picks it up perfect speed of that target going down there and see 61 64 on that truck and as I come across here you'll see it it's just you know not accurate at all but that's the two guns uh, the Speedster 3 is a as far as I know a a conical uh, transceiver here so uh, it doesn't matter which angle you have it held and this one is two vertical one you know one two two vertical coming out like like so I believe uh, point is is you have to have it uh, pro if you want proper readings you want to have it pointed towards the target just like that and not sideways or whatever uh, position I hope that helps if you have any questions regarding either of these guns, just leave a comment and uh, I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability.